Hello guys, I'm Chris. I'm a graduate student at the San Juan Fraser University and I am studying philosophy. I have interest in the philosophy of medicine, biomedical ethics and African philosophy. So my studies at SFE is fully funded and I am a Biagioni scholar. So every course that is incurred by my studies here in Canada is fully sponsored. My transportation around Canada, which includes using the SkyTrain, using sea buses, boats, using regular buses, is all covered. I don't pay from my pocket. And all the tools I use for my studies, my phones, my tablet, my laptop, everything is fully funded. So that is what it means. And yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm elated to have you with me this very first time. Yes, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for tuning in to this YouTube channel. So guys, I have three reasons I want to start this YouTube channel. One of them is I want to give back to the African community that has raised me. Thank you, Nigeria, my family, my community members in Nigeria. Thank you very much. Secondly, I want to, I am hoping to inspire one more young African who want to make the journey to quality education or who want to tow the path that I've taken, who is a lover of the academia, who want to make a profession out of the academia, who want to have their PhDs, have their masters, and then eventually teach in the university as a way of contributing to Africa. And then thirdly, I want to show the world around the beautiful city of Vancouver and in particular, and then British Columbia where I live, which is regarded as the most beautiful city in Canada. So over the course of my, of my journey with this, of my exploring YouTube, I'm going to be shooting my videos in, in, in scenic places in, in the province and yeah i do hope you enjoy them yeah so having said all these this my youtube channel is particularly dedicated to those who are studying humanities social sciences and all these new multidisciplinary studies so if you're a philosophy student theology islamic um or you're studying islamic studies religious studies, African studies, science, technology and society, political science, um, biomedical ethics, um, sociology, psychology, etc. If you are studying any one of these, if you are if you're a student or you just graduated from any one of these fields, humanities, social sciences and mult new multidisciplinary studies then this youtube channel is particularly dedicated to you because well when i was applying there are many stuff about there are many youtube channels dedicated to those studying um studying science technology engineering and math but you seldom see those ones that are particularly dedicated to those in the humanities and social sciences even when you are looking for scholarship it is always very difficult to get a resource to get resources for scholarships in the humanity so this youtube channel no offense to other disciplines of course could still watch my youtube videos of course when i was applying to grad school i was watching most of the science youtube videos so it also helped me so but Primacy of place is given to those who study the social sciences, humanities, and these new multidisciplinary programs. Yeah. Um, so what are we going to be talking in talking about or what are you going to be watching in this YouTube channel? I have a series of topics I want to explore with you. They are not exhaustive, but as of now, I think I have um I have eleven of them. So I'm going to list them out so that you know what you'll be expecting any 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 week you see you see an alert about my video. So 
first and foremost i'm going to be telling you how to apply for graduate programs and how to get funding for your graduate studies in fact i find it a waste to fund your humanities graduates um to fund your humanities graduates um education in fact i think it's a career suicide you want to go and study philosophy and you want to pay for your masters no that's not right so first and foremost i'm going to be telling you how to apply for phds your ma what you need your transcript letters of recommendations your writing samples your personal statement statement of intent or statement of purpose or whatever it, the school decide to call it secondly i'm going to tell you why for those who might have tried why your phds or ma programs applications program applications have been rejected yeah mostly it is because mostly it is because of poor reference letters letters of recommendation from your professors in the school you um, you went to and um, again it is because of you lack the research experience or you don't know how to codify your story to make a single whole to make one comprehensive coherent story thirdly i'm going to be breaking down the elements that um that is involved that constitutes or constitute phd or ma applications fourthly we have to be realistic and do acknowledge that not everyone who applies for grad school will get funding so in this youtube channel i will be talking about um if it is possible to study and work in canada you know how much as an international student you can earn while working here i also work so i have experience i think i have a local standard to talk about this issue whether you can earn enough to pay your graduates um your graduate studies here there's hope there's let me don't put you in suspense so yes it is doable people are doing it but um let me stop at that so that you will not misconstrue my message so in the fifth place um of course like i said one of my third reasons for them um, for starting this youtube channel is to show you around british columbia especially the metro and um, the vancouver metro area so i'll be taking you around the universities i'll be taking you on a tour to the universities around this beautiful province and beautiful city um to the university simon fraser university um Quentin polytechnic college university of british columbia then i'll be taking you to um to different parks in the in in the province there are over 1033 parks public parks in this province and i would like you to have a look have a glance of what they look like to see what they look like yeah so yes in the sixth place um we are going to be i would also explain to you when you now get um admission to come for graduate studies you need to apply for study permit i'm going to be breaking down the whole process for you you know what you need how to write your letter of intent you don't need all these agents or what um or did they, in any immigration consultant or as they are popularly known in african countries agent you don't need them it's just a waste of money save that money you would you used to give them save it for your travels in the seventh place i told you about um that i'm hoping to aspire young african scholars through this my youtube video so there's a project alongside youtube there's a second project that i am working on it is called it is an academic journal that i happen to be the chief editor so i'm going to be using this youtube channel to talk about ijiroro ijiroro is the name of the academic journal i'm going to be using the opportunity to talk about it and it is yeah 
to tell you what it means, what an academic journal is, and how to publish in an academic journal. So using Ijiruru as an example. So um, in the eighth place, I'm going to be telling you about how to write academic papers. Yes, how to publish them. I'm going to tell you how to, you know, from research to publication. Yes. So this is an important topic, especially for me, whose source of livelihood is in writing. So it's in doing research and then writing and hoping to publish them. So I'm going to be telling you the whole process. It's not myth. It's not, um, it's not an esoteric thing that is far removed from everyone. Most people with passion and dedication can do this. So I'm going to be telling you about it. I will make it as simple as possible. I'm going to be telling you about different kinds of free money funding that you get for your graduate studies. So there are scholarships, there are fellowships, there are assistantships. So I'm going to be telling you about these different kinds of um free money or funding that you get for your graduate studies and I'm, I'm going to explain the differences i'm going to compare and contrast them i'm going to tell you how to go about getting them yeah and then um in the 10th place i'm going to break down how to publish in the academia to boost your chances of getting into um, getting scholarship or how to boost your um, chances of getting scholarship publication that you have public that you have published is one of the important factors it's not a requirement though but it stands you out like if everyone has first class you know it is very common that people applying for graduate studies all of them have um, first class so your first class doesn't sell you out. So you need something that sells you out. So, and one of those things is publication. So I'm going to, and most people don't know, they fall into the hands of predatory journals. So like my eight points where I talk about, um, um, seven and eight points where I talked about Ijiruru and um, how to write academic papers. This one is in line with my seven and eight points so i'm going to be telling you about where to publish and how to know predatory journals predatory journals are those journals that they just want to get your money they don't have any peer review process at all and then they get your money if you publish in these journals it is it will hurt you rather than boost your chances so i'm going to be telling you so that you will run away from them and um um yes i'm going to raise those red flags i'm going to expose those red flags that if you should see in some of these journals requesting you to publish with them once you see them these red flags run so in the spirit of taking you around um british columbia taking you on a tour around british columbia um the next video you would be seeing on this channel is my birthday video um i celebrated my birthday with my friends at the lynn canyon park lynn canyon park is in north van north vancouver yeah so it's a beautiful place and as you can see in the video so tune in to watch the my birthday celebration it went well it was fantastic there was jollof rice turkey barbecue fish yeah and we explored the beautiful park the beautiful lynn canyon park it was it's a nice place so for now these are the 10 points that i would like to explore through this youtube channel and if you have suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and i will take them into consideration so um i really would like to reiterate that this this um youtube channel is primarily for those seeking scholarship for those who studied or who are studying any program in the humanities social sciences and multidisciplinary studies multidiscipl by multidisciplinary studies i mean 
something like African studies by its public policy, science, technology, society, gender, sexuality, queer and women's studies, religious studies, Islamic studies, theology, etc. So you are home if, if you and then I forgot to mention my philosophy. So if you studied any one of these things, any one of these programs, then you are welcome. This is for you. This YouTube channel is basically for you. And then I'm going to tell you how you don't need to fret over how you can fund your graduate studies. Should you want to go to graduate school? Yeah. And then, yeah, I'm very excited to start in this journey. And I'm so happy that I've eventually started to work on this YouTube thing it's so new and so tasking you know the preparations and everything and i do hope it's what's your why and i do hope you um you enjoy it so please and please as i'm starting this um youtube um journey it's a learning process for me so if you do have your suggestions please leave them in the comment section or you could private message me i'm going to leave my contact so you could send me a message and i would respond accordingly so thank you very much guys thank you for watching this youtube channel um thank you for tuning into this youtube channel and then for watching my video and um thank you very much Eshe sanu and um yeah so see ya next week. Bye-bye.